Welcome to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share, and subscribe our channel to never miss out our videos. Let's continue with the learning. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Berg. I'm having three plus years of work experience and worked on the app, VMware, Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python, and Bash script. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, and reach out to us on itesfund.com. So in this lesson, we will learn the understanding and using input-output redirection and piping. Linux input-output redirection. Redirection can be defined as a changing way from where the commands read input to where the command sends output. You can redirect the input and output of any command. For redirection, the meta characters are used and redirection can be used into a file. Shell meta characters are angle brackets. Like you can see over the screen, it's less than and greater than. Or any program, like shell meta characters are pipe symbol. We are having three major streams in input output redirection standard input, standard output, and standard error. The standard input stream is numbered as the STDIN with 0. The bash shell takes input from STDIN. By default, keyboard is used as the input. The standard output stream is numbered as the std out with 1. The bash shell sends these output to standard output. Output goes to the display. The standard error stream is numbered as the std err with 2. The bash shell sends out the error message to std err. Error message goes to the display. Now. Piping in Linux. A pipe is a form of redirection which is transfer of standard output to some another destination that is used in the Linux and other Unix like operating systems to send the output of one command or program or process to other command, program or processes. For the further processing, the Unix or Linux systems allows standard output of a command to be connected to the standard input of another command. You can make it to do so by the pipe character in a single command. Pipe is used to combine two or more commands and in this the output of one command acts as the input to another command and this command's output may act as the input to next command and so on. It can also be visualized as a temporary connection between two or more commands, programs, or processes. The command line programs that do the further processing are referred as the filters. We can use the piping in Linux in a single command multiple times. We can see this practical overview. Now let's take a look at this workflow to understand more on the input output redirection part. Here we are the users and we send some input in the form of standard input to the terminal or we can say the bash shell. It then converts it or processes it to the standard output and displays it to the screen. We can use files instead of this user and the monitors. This will help us in avoiding men. This will help us in reducing manual intervention. As you can see, we can use the file name over here and then we can use less than operator for the same to provide input from the file. And for providing output to the file, we can use greater than operator and then mention the file name. All the output will go to it. Now for the standard error, it will also get displayed to the screen. But as you can see, we can use two greater than error file name to transfer the errors to this file. We can also use a default file which is 
we can also use a default file which is error file placed under dev folder. So under redirection and piping, redirection used a standard input, a standard error and a standard output to work with the command input and output in a flexible way. We have used the following operators and the double greater than operator is used to append to a file. In piping, the standard output of the first command is used as the standard input of the second command. Let's take some few examples over the terminal and I will provide you a live overview of the things. So let's take a look at some few examples of redirection and piping. If we then ls under slash etc, we can see a lot of files over here. Let's route these files to some another file. Now here is no output. It's just because all the output is carry forwarded or transferred to the ls files. You can see all the results are over here. This is the redirection of any commands output to a file. Let's take some few more examples. Let's take a look at some few more examples. Who command is showing that who is logged in to the computer system or the machine? Let's out the output of who command to ls files. You can see the output of ls under etc files is over the tin. What do we want to append? We have to use this operator to append to an existing file. Now, as you can see, it's consisting of all the output of both the two commands. That's why we can use the double greater than operator. Now, let's take a look at some more examples. I'm using a grab command, which is used to filter out the things and or the output you can see hyphen r is for recursive like it will look for the results under the file or folder we have mentioned and under the sub file folders it will look for pgerg name like if it's under uh, any file or folder or not and i've mentioned the folder etc you can see a lot of results here and some of them were mentioned as permission denied because this is not the root user now uh, let's uh, take a look at what if we want a clear output of the valid results only we can add two greater than etc null dev null now you can see the output of valid results only as all the non-valid output or the errors have gone to the dev null file. Now let's check out some examples related to piping. Here we can see a lot of files over here. What if I want to count these files? I'm using piping operator over here and mentioning wc which is used to count the files. It's showing me 173 files and 1654 characters. Now let's convert it to less. It will show me a list of uh, like output that can be displayed to my current screen only. I can use tab to switch to the another screen. You can see. 
when the command ends or the output ends, it will show me end. Okay. Now let's uh, use the pipe with the grep command. Here I am using a uh, grep to uh, list all the available results starting with the host. So you can see we are having three outputs only and these are the file names which are starting with host. This is all for redirection and piping. We'll continue with the Linux file system architecture in our coming lesson. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and comment our videos. Also subscribe to our channel.